Well, today is the outside of my mother, Anna Julia about Jitele. Uh, she was born in 1924, on uh, eight, October the 18th. <clears throat> so became uh, uh, 97 years old, just a few days, uh, like 10 days after. <clears throat> and I would like to, uh, if possible, of course, thank my mother for, my, for the life and the youth she gave me. She had a, a difficult time because anti-Semitism anti was um, starting up in that when she was, when she was young. <coughs> she was born in Rotterdam, uh, or raised, yeah, born in Rotterdam and raised with her, together with her sister. And um, she was like, it's more or less compared, as I heard from my mother, the, the days then and the days now. Anti-Semitism was, was, uh, was increasing in the, in the 30s. And she was born in 1924. So when she was a young girl and on the primary school, it, it started to come up. It, so it's, it looks a little bit like, like the days we're in now. And... Um, that traumatized her already when she was young. Uh, when the war broke out, my, uh, my, my mother had a sister and, and of course the parents, and they lived on a boat and they were ship chandlers. So meaning like, a, not a supermarket, but like a shop on a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a boat and they went to sea ships. And in that time, the sea ships were of course a long time um, on the sea, it's not not like now where everything computerized. So they were long on uh, and uh, on the sea, and when they came, they could sell anything, you know, chocolates and and uh, 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 clothing and uh, postcards and and uh, so that 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 was. Uh, they went then with the small boat to the to the big ships. They pulled everything up in boxes in, with a rope. And then they make a, like a short shop over there. <coughs> that's how that's how they would sell it. But when the war broke out, of course, everything changed. And because they left on they left on a boat, the the boat was towed to a, a town just 10 kilometers from Rotterdam. And in that uh, in that period, my mother, when the war broke out, she was 15, almost 16. So um, in the war, my mother met my father. And uh, that's when she stayed in the town where I grew up. I was there, I, I uh, grew up. <coughs> she was, uh, when she was, uh, uh, I think, 22, they got married with my father. And I had a brother. And then the, the life was until then, okay. They started, uh, my father started a company uh, for uh, uh, learning uh, to people how to drive then a later taxi company. And in the taxi company, that was also different like, the, like it is now. Because then they also did, like people, when they had, uh, when there was an accident, the, the, the doctor would call the, 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 the taxi because they also did uh, people who were sick, bring them to the, to the hospital. But also, when, when, when there had been an accident, it happened a few times, people, uh, killed themselves for the train, and then uh, and then they had to pick up the pieces. That, so they did everything. You know, it, it was a completely different time than it is now. But um, it was, uh, of course, uh, uh, much much different. When the war the war uh, broke out, of course, it was completely different, and it makes me remind me of about times now. You know, it's with. My mother was, of course, the best mother. She was really good, but it also the life was. As she, that's where I found my associate. She was always happy and friendly. And even though I had a brother who was nine years older than mine, he had a car accident, and he was killed in that car accident. So it was. It, but, but besides that, she was always still. She was always, you know, uh, uh, happy and and uh, and. It's like we have our best goodbye in this because it is always has been through a lot of things and still how they manage to be so happy and friendly. That, that, that's what I really admire and she has a very good heart, you know. 
always for people to help them. And, 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 I, went, and I when I brought friends who want, want to eat, and we, oh, yeah, you know how it is with a Jewish mother. It's, 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 it, it was a real uh, nice thing. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it was really, uh, yeah, it was. Uh, this uh, the best thing I could do for a uh, small, small start uh, uh, story to finish. One of the amazing things is because I was, uh, she had a sister who was earlier killed. Uh, passed away earlier, not killed, but passed away. And uh, my sister, my her sister had, a, had a, also had one son. He passed away before his mother, also. So I was the only one left. But and then my mother came to in an elderly home, and I had a really wanted to go to Israel because our children both were in Israel, made Aliyah. I wanted to go, but I didn't want to go because my mother was there in the elder room to, and I wanted to I go there a few times in a week, three, four, two, three, four times in a week, depends. And uh, at, uh, we had the papers, everything, everything was finished, uh, but, but we needed final approval. And the final approval it took there was supposed to took, uh, to take uh, like um, a few months, but it took much longer because of the corona. And then uh, it's like a miracle. My mother uh, passed away, and that was uh, today, two years ago. And then uh, we had, we were uh, the children came from Israel for the Lilia. We sat we sat together to have coffee because you. Of course, you go to the Levaya, but uh, it's, uh, it's very sad to go there. And on the day of the Levaya, an hour and a half before the Levaya, we got final op approval. Amazing. And then, yeah. so after that, a month later, we made Aliyah. Amazing. Amazing. And now we're still in Svat, and Svat, amazing to, to uh, how Hashem brought us here. But that's maybe something for another time. So uh, just say the name of the... And my mother's name is Anna Yulia Bat Yitla. So I, I just wanted to thank you personally, Shlomo, because uh, uh, ever since you've come here, you, 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 it's like you've been here for all your life. It's like you, you, okay. you're so welcome here and with so much of the community. You've even named the Gabai, the best Gabai in the world. And this, well, the, this name is stuck with him. Even in Hebrew, they call him best Gabai. <laughs> But uh, I wanted to thank you also for your support for the Al Sheikh Academy. You were one of the first people to say yes. I supported and, and gave me the confidence to to get this started. And you're the one that uh, sponsored the the camera that allows us now to bring eight uh, uh, about uh, yeah about eight or ten different shurim a day a week rather into the into the world so and this, this is only the beginning and this is just the beginning exactly <laughs> so may your mother have an aliyah uh, may you continue to uh, honor her by you being in here in Sfat and all the mitzvot that you do so diligently and so with uh, with a big smile you've obviously taken that midah of always being with a big smile well, and uh, yeah. giving people hugs and and really being such a mensch it's such an honor to have you here with us in Svat, and uh, we encourage anybody like Shlomo who's in abroad, come and, come and join us, because this is where you belong. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.